have holy Toledo, ladies and gentlemen, Infinity Wars clapping back on the game revolution and all you scrubs out there who freaking were spreading apparently false information about supply drops being in modern warfare, or maybe perhaps, maybe perhaps, they're just doing damage control because pre-sales have just dropped out the bottom of the basement, bro. Oh, I got my shirt off. I got my shirt off because I'm ready to get into a fight, brother. Oh, yeah, coming in. Oh, ah, ah. How's it going, stud buff? That's right. I'm going to leave my shirt off this entire video, bro. I'm just going to leave it off. I'm going to come in here swolled up like the alpha male elite gorilla silver back top notch stud muffin gaming champion mlg ttv8 thoughts don't forget right now listen listen i don't even care what the hell you're talking about i don't care what you're thinking i don't care what the hell is going on in your mind maybe you're having a drifter moment maybe you're questioning your sexuality all you need to do is not question one thing and that is this video is amazing i'm amazing you're amazing smash that like button right now just smash that right like button just go. now ladies and gentlemen Big hype going on in the Call of Duty community. First bad news, PlayStation 4 gets uh, survival mode only, and Xbox and PCs users still pay the full price for the game, and they don't even get the full game. So people are like, oh my god, they're walking around like, oh crap, what the hell is going on here? This is some other absolute bull. This is not going to stand, brother. You know what I'm saying? Where the hell is this Activision at? Where are they at, brother? I'm going to come in there and kick Yes, that's why right. they charge charged full price for a game. I'm gonna get the whole damn thing. What is this? I'm a fucking black knight. What am I, a second rate citizen? Oh, it's a joke. That's right, yeah. <sighs> I gotta catch my breath. That was a lot of work for a fat guy. And I mean, by fat, I mean P H A T. Pretty hot and tempting. Well, while we're doing this time out here, while I catch my breath, smash that like button. <laughs> but the game revolution said that supply drops were supposed to be coming in and, uh, you know, they're going to be pay to win and the salvage whole system was scrapped and they're going to have like worse than Black Ops 4. It's like, Gloom, dude, brother. Oh my God, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's going to be a pay to win game. Oh my God. Ah. Call of Duty Modern Warfare League reveals weapon microtransactions. And like, we're all up in this bitch. This, this is what we want right here. A Call of Duty leaker known as, What is up guys, the gaming revolution claims that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be getting a supply drop system that is going to replace the fair system and salvage mechanic. Unfortunately, the potential leak also reveals that the supply drops are not just for cosmetic items like titles and emblems, and will also include new weapons. Oh no, doom and glue. Ah. Well, none of this is official and could still be false. We'll get into the clapback by Infinity Ward saying this guy's full of shit. The Game Revolution does have a good track record, having first leaked the existence of the 2v2 gunfight mode. They're literally changing so much. They had a fair system with the salvage and then they just remove it. I hope something changes by release. I swear. Oh, sorry, sorry. I gotta read that in the, correct, in the, in the Game Revolution's voice. They're literally just changing so much. They had a fair system with salvage and then they just remove it. I hope something changes by release. I swear. By the stars and the moon in the sky. I'll be there. I'll be there. I swear. There's some flashbacks music for you old guys out there but then folks ladies and gentlemen infinity ward now this is where that this is where the tension comes this is where the drama comes in this is where it gets spicy infinity ward developer responds to hate on modern warfare subreddit says to not get thrown off by ill-informed people and certain rumors yes right they're calling you out game revolution they're calling all you guys out there you all say you're a bunch of bill and tosses you're a bunch of drama queens like listen i'll make it clear right now eight thoughts has never caused drama and i don't talk ill about anybody else or any way whatsoever are using inflammatory statements or hype in any way to get views of my Reveal. No, 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 never done that before in my entire life. Sure haven't. No, I haven't. Infinity War Studio Art Director has posted a post on the Modern Warfare subreddit today titled, A Developer POV. That's point of view. In regards to the drama that has been happening this week with the game, Activision and PlayStation announced that the survival mode will only be on the PlayStation 4 for one year, which has caused an outrage. Oh yeah, outrage. Infinity Ward responded to the complaints that the majority of the special ops would be on all platforms and that survival mode is an additional mode. But you're still paying full price for an incomplete game, Xbox and PC users. Sounds like a swell deal to me. Now, the art director has shared his point of view on Reddit, stating that they are working to make the best game they've ever built and asking for people understand that real people work at Infinity Ward. Take a second and think about who on the production side comes to this sub and reads through the comments, Infinity Ward developer. We are a mixed bag of nerds, jocks, and super sexual 361 no scope alpha male elite call of duty athletes like eight thoughts. And everything in between. It's amazing. So Drifter must work there, everything in between. It's amazing, but we all get along and come together every day to build something that we 
believe in. We've dedicated our careers to being the best at what we do and to making the best possible game we can make. Yeah, all right, everybody. High five. I love you guys. Do an inspirational speech on Reddit. Woo! That's corny. Yeah, it is. But at the same time, that's, this is a job. And if you work at a job and aren't successful, then eventually there is no job. Fair enough. Self-preservation, brother. Almost all of us have worked in the industry for long enough to know that we don't make a good game, then no one will play it. Well, I don't know, man. Black Ops 4 is pretty bad. Seems to make you know more money for Activision than other game in the history of Call of Duty. So, you know, there's a... <laughs> never go broke on the stupidity of the public. It's pretty much all we think about. And for the most part, we treat every game like it's our last. So we put everything into it we have. We never hold back. Public forums like this sub are part of our process. It's where we come to gather exterior thoughts and feedback on what we are crafting. That's right. Joel, how you doing, buddy? I know you're watching my video. You're doing a great job. I think the game looks fabulous, but the campers are ruining it. But that's not your fault, honestly. But anyways, continuing on, Joel. I love you. I hope you're enjoying the alpha male in this right here. I hope everyone's gathered around the computer screen there at Infinity Ward Studios and just taking in all this awesomeness that is just being put forth to you. Ashton, if you're watching, sorry, I am married. I know, I know, I know. It's very disappointing for all the ladies in the Infinity Ward Studios. Uh, I'm taken. Yeah, call me, direct message me. Sh quiet, sh don't tell Nancy. Don't tell my wife. Sh creep on down low, you know what I'm saying? Be kind of awesome, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you some hints and tips, and uh, we'll talk about stuff while we lay in bed afterwards uh, after we end up crushing. Anyways, uh, we are about four weeks away from launch, but the game will continue to live beyond that date. This sub uh, will be a way for us to keep getting an outside hands on perspective from everything that plays the game. From everyone that plays the game, everything. Didn't want to assume. Everyone benefits from this. Player experiences get better and better, and we get to keep making games. Smile face. He stated that he has heard all the current drama and everything on the topics that have been read. Another rumor popped up this week from the Gaming Revolution that suggests that Activision Infinity Ward are planning to add weapons into supply drops post-launch into the game, an RNG system that fans are tired of. That's right, you sons of bitches. You thought they'd take that shit. That's why I've got my shirt off. I'm coming here to kick ass and kick your goddamn teeth in. That's why I take your goddamn fucking microtransaction through the table and drop their ass. Ain't taking it. No more, brother. Now, he's replied to state that my ask of all of you is to focus on information that is actually fact and not get thrown off by ill-informed people that want to make a name for themselves by spreading half-baked inflammatory rumors. Directly calling out you, the gaming revolution, saying you're full of it, mate. He said you guys are a bunch of losers and you're spreading information that's not true or either they're doing damage control and gaming revolution could be right. I don't know. I would imagine that they're not going to lie about this because... It would make them look double bad if that they actually do end up having these supply drops in the game, like Game Revolution said, after they said, no, we're not going to have them, uh, Game Revolution's lying. Because, I, I mean, i got to say that maybe Game Revolution has this wrong. So, yes, the current drama, you're all being heard, all of it. I don't know why, but on my daily scans of the sub, where I'm looking for useful feedbacks, I can even read the ultra-dark, toxic comments that tell me how incompetent and stupid I must be, and I have to go away somewhere where I can't harm people with my bad ideas and hard work. I'm in a dark place right now. Uh, we all have a pretty thick skin here, but it can get to you. Believe me, we keep it professional, but of course, people that pass by my office from time to time can hear me screaming through my walls. It's disappointing, but we move on with our day. I understand that there are people here that have things going on in their lives or they are upset about something to do with the game and they need to get that poison out and feel like they are being listened to. You are. And yeah, go for it. But keep it clean and maybe even a little creative. Like eight thoughts. That's a reference to me. Joel loves my content. He thinks I'm funny even though I'm kind of a troll and I talk a lot of crap about his Call of Duty and make fun of them. But at the same time, I do it entertainingly wise. Probably the best Call of Duty YouTuber out here. I'm not probably 110% I'm the greatest. I'm the best. So once again, hit the subscriber, smash that like button this far on the video. Uh, you probably uh, are wearing a diaper and not because you're a baby, but because you're, you know, that mentally incompetent that you can't, you know, make your way to the bathroom. Anyways, rock and roll. Get it out of your system. But remember, there's a team of human beings here at Infinity Ward, and we have crappy days just like you. Well, this is definitely one of your best days ever. Everyone at Infinity Ward Studios, hope you guys are having a good laugh. Our interest is entirely in the game itself. There are some announcements that have come up this week that are official and some that are rumors. My ask of all of you is to focus on information that is actually fact and not get thrown off by you and four people that want to make a name for themselves by spreading half-baked inflammatory rumors. Let's work real problems together and not fairy tales of boogeymen. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Eight thoughts. Number one, alpha male, elite, MLG, Call of Duty athlete. Bringing you a hot take here. Yesterday, doom and gloom. Gaming Revolution is saying that supply drops are going to ruin the game. It's by a paywall. It's Black Ops 4 all over again. Oh, my God. We're all dying. 
of doom and gloom and the world is coming to an end. And then today, Infinity Ward comes back and kicks the goddamn faces in of all you haters out there who are spreading misinformation. And you know what? I got to believe him because that would just make him look double bad, like I already said. If like if it ends up being that, dudes, that does end up being true and the gaming revolution is right. And they said he wasn't right. And then it ends up he was right. That just makes him even like liars and they've lost all credibility and quite frankly... Dudes, you know, they really can't afford to have that occur. So I'm going to believe, I'm believing, I'm believing Infinity Ward here. I'm going to believe my boy here. I'm believing, believing my buddy here, Joel. Hope you're having a good day, everybody. Everybody in Infinity Ward Studios, just, you know, take this in one last time. I don't know how long it's going to be before I do another shirtless uh, Call of Duty video. So, you know what? Uh, take it all in. Take it all in. Let me look at that shoulder. Don't crash your motorcycle. That's that's a bad move right there. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourself. My name is Ocho Pensamientos. Muchas gracias for watching. And uh, last but not least, and most, most importantly, hit the gym. Look like this. Even though I don't even work out, I'm just naturally awesome. And last but not least, and most importantly, really this time, y'all. Stay back. Don't on crack or two shapes. You have to blame me. It's hot. The Spain came trails. My levels of jobs. Guitar selling. Moving moves. All of that. You stay. You're the hills. You're the boss game. White man. I'm down, I'm down.